Um, are the eyes weighted closed or are they just sort of like floating? Hustle? They're weighted open. They're weighted open. Okay. And so the magnet makes them close. Which is sort of a funny idea because that means the monkey can't sleep when the power's off. Interesting. But it's not real. It's not a real monkey. It's not a real monkey. is NET, the National Educational Television Network. What's up? Welcome Pep back. In. Happy New Year. Yay. So before the holiday, we had discovered this new product called the Fingerling. Mm -hmm. Like a potato? Like a potato. Uh, but in trying to get it, we couldn't find any. So the search became even more interesting. And we found this knockoff of it called the... Happy Monkey. The Happy Monkey, which is similar. So you... In that it's a ridiculous name. Yes. Yeah. It's this sort of micro robot. Should we turn it on? Yeah. You're supposed to wear it here? And then you just do this all day. You just carry it around on your hand. It makes it hard to type, but you know. Um, you can clap your hands. You would have thought that you was can, You can tap its head. You can hang it upside down. <laughs> it freaks out. Press and hold both seconds for a silly surprise. Okay. It's supposed to fart, but it won't fart. One, two. This is the cute one. <gasps> Come on. There we go. The idea came from a woman who works in the Canadian toy company called Wowie, okay. which creates all those robots, like that robotic dog that was very popular. Chip, Chip the robot dog, the robot. yes, and it has the yeah. ball and it kicks the ball around and it's cheesy but great. Right. Apparently she fell in love with uh, little marsupials when she was a child growing, growing up in Montreal. Except um, this is the knockoff version. I think the other interesting thing that they did with the marketing in this is that as opposed to investing the money in television commercials or radio, they specifically put it towards YouTube influencers and they sent these to them to create little films. Not all the YouTube influencers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on guys, <laughs> send us your stuff. Um, when one girl discovers it, she just like breaks down and cries and she can barely communicate <laughs> her, her happiness. Okay, what's wrong? <laughs> They're really cheap. They're like 15 bucks. Oh. And it's, you know, there's there's a lot of sensors in here. There's It's a little micro robot. It's crazy, but this is some sophisticated motion, you know. Really sticky. <laughs> you know, like it's got, looks like a servo action maybe going back and forth and the right. eyes blink. So we're gonna figure out how it moves. And tear down. <laughs> Go. Oh, <it> farted. <laughs> <laughs> Desolder that? Uh, yeah, I can desolder. Okay. Please hold for desoldering. So far, the majority of this product is empty space and battery holding. And so now we're just going to focus on tearing down the head where all of the magic happens. And it's very hard to take this apart because there's these thin copper wires that we don't want to ruin. And you can see them right here, maybe. Possibly. Yeah. Those copper wires go from two pads on the board to a coil here. And that's an electromagnet. And that electromagnet attracts this rare earth magnet here. And that's how the eyes blink. Why did you take us apart? Why? Why? <laughs> it's not just an electromagnet. The coil is a coreless electromagnet, which is a very long copper wire wound into a puck. And that's important because if you had a core, the magnet that's attached to the eyes would be attracted to the core and would stick. And then you'd have to reverse the polarity on the core and then the eyes would sort of like spring open. In this case, the eyes are just weighted down by gravity. 
and then the cord creates a magnetic field that opposes the magnet and we can vary that slightly and by varying it slightly we can make the eyes get drowsy and open wide and go all the way to sleep. <laughs> so let's look at how this works. Oh yeah, sure. Little guy's eyes are just a ball and so like this is the pupil area and that's the eyelid, right? And they sit on a pivot that's like about here and then there's a magnet back here. And the magnet, we're, we don't really know, but let's say it's north and south like This that. is looking from the side of the face. Yeah, right? it's looking from the side. The magnet has weight and it sits out on this arm here, so it weighs it down and the eyes stay open. Sitting here is our coily puck. Hmm. With and the long wires to the board? Yeah. And those go to the board. When we run current through this, which I'm drawing in yellow, it creates a magnetic field which will draw in blue. And then we're going to use the right hand rule. When there's current running through this, this becomes north and this becomes south and it creates a force upward on the magnet. To, to resist to gravity. Resist it. Right. So you've got gravity coming down right. and then you've got this magnetic force opposing it huh. and that causes the eyes to open and close and that rotates so this is a uh, basic electromagnetism mm -hmm. which is essentially how every every motor works yeah um, anytime you have copper moving past another piece of copper which essentially runs our world yeah <laughs> it powers our world yeah everything from locks to motors to electric cars to hoverboards not the real hoverboards but the hoverboards that everyone was into a few years ago mm. This runs your world, and it makes the monkey blink. <laughs> uh, we wanted to give some nods to uh, our friends in New York who are part of the New York hardware community, folks like uh, Adafruit, people at the New Lab. They're um, great. The SVA Incubator, FutureWorks. FutureWorks, awesome work. Uh, little Bits, go New York hardware. <laughs> Yeah. If you guys like this, remember to like and subscribe, leave some comments down below, let us know what you want us to tear down next. Anything yeah. else to add? Yeah, uh, if you have a hot new toy that turned out to be a disappointment but you want to know how it works, just, just let us know and we'll arrange mailing and then we'll take it apart for you and tell you how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Hot new toys.